Hey, I'm Evan Smith with BrothersPerformance.com. One of the quickest, easiest, and most affordable ways to add up to 125 horsepower to your Mustang is with nitrous oxide. And today we're going to check out this Zex Nitrous system, which sells for around $600 and fits 86 to 04 Mustang. Zex includes everything you need, including tuning jets, fuel fittings, solenoids, filters, and all the necessary activation electronics for an easy and complete installation. Another feature is the active fuel control used to monitor bottle pressure and Zex's patented TPS switch used for system activation. Now that you know a little bit about the kit, let's throw some nitrous on this 1998 Cobra. Then we'll put it to the test on our chassis dyno and we'll see how much horsepower this Mustang can generate at the wheels. When you're ready to begin, start by disconnecting the negative battery cable and then move to the back and remove the trunk padding so you can mark the trunk floor for installation of the bottle brackets. If you're drilling in the trunk area, be careful not to drill into the fuel tank. It may be necessary to drop the fuel tank to drill and access the mounting hole. Be sure to mount the bottle with the exit nozzle facing downward. This will ensure that the pickup tube is indexed properly. With the bottle in place, install the nitrous delivery line. We located a plug in the trunk area and fed the line through the hole and then we used a grommet to protect the line. Route the line tightly under the car. This will protect it from speed bumps or other road debris and then feed the line into the engine compartment. Next, remove the intake elbow and locate a spot to install the nitrous management unit. With the unit mounted, attach the fuel and nitrous lines and route them neatly to the injection nozzle. Mark and drill your inlet tube using a 9 16 inch bit and tap the threads using the supplied tap. Next, install the Zex nozzle and select the fuel and nitrous jets for the desired horsepower level. Now you can connect and tighten your fuel and nitrous lines. With all the lines in place, it was time to wire the system. You'll find three wires coming from the nitrous management unit. A red for power, white for TPS signal, and a black ground. We also included an MSD window switch in our installation. Once the wiring was complete, we made a baseline dyno pull resulting in 279 rear wheel horsepower and 282 pound-feet of torque. We then installed the 75 horsepower jetting and the Cobra jumped to 347 horsepower and a whopping 403 pound-feet of torque. To learn more about what's available for your late model performance car, be sure to check out brothersperformance.com and stop by our showroom and installation center located in Deland, Florida, or call 1-800-486-2681.